Lester Cotton is one of those offensive linemen that is just nasty. 6'4", 325 pound Alabama left guard is going to be a very solid NFL player if he is able to keep improving on some of the traits he already has. Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about his strength in blocking just to show you guys some of the things he can do as far as just putting people down as well as talk about his football IQ. This first play, he, here he is in the national championship game against Clemson, just putting down this defensive tackle. And this is something that he did throughout the whole entire season. He was just putting people down. The reason why I want to show you guys these plays is because in order to be a successful guard, especially at the NFL level, where you're primarily going to be going up against 300 pound plus defensive linemen, you have to be strong and able to put people down like in this play right here. Not only is Lester Cotton very good against in the run game, he's also good against in the pass game. Uh, I really like him because he's so damn strong. Now, that's not the only reason I really like him. Aside from all these nice plays where he's just laying people out, as you're going to see in this play as well, he has a lot of other traits that I really like. And I want to get into that in the next part of this video. I want to talk about how he opens up holes using his awareness and his IQ. And you're going to see that with this very first play right here. Essentially, you're going to see this play. Lester caught and almost lost this block, but he was able to quickly adjust himself and win the block. If you guys missed it, watch it again closely. You're going to see how number 92 almost is able to beat Cotton, but Cotton ends up just flat out hooking that defensive lineman, which opens up the hole for the running back. Now, this isn't something that's new. Look at this play right here. He's going to get on the left side of that offensive lineman, let the tackle take over or the center, and then he gets up to the next level. And these are the types of blocks that I really like. And this shows me that Lester Cotton understands how to block. He understands how to win his blocks and how to just win in general. Uh, here's another example of that. He's going to get around this defensive end and just flat out hook him. Now, when you want your running back to be able to get to the outside, you have to be able to hook. And he did that in that play, and he does that again in this play, right? He gets to the side of the linebacker or defensive end to hook him and make sure he's not able to win uh, or even just get his hand on uh, the running back. And again, you see it over and over and over again, the way he down blocks, the way he pulls. He understands what he's doing. He understands that in order to win his blocks, all he has to do is simply just get on one side of the defense tackle. If it's a running lane to the left, just hook him to the left. If it's to the right, hook him to the right. He knows how to win, and a lot of his strength helps him win because his initial punch. And I want to talk to you guys about that. In this play right here, you're going to see him punch this defensive lineman that's Christian Wilkins, and look how much he's able to move him. Just with the initial punch, He's able to get the a defensive lineman off balance one to two yards, and that's all it takes to win. And you'll see it throughout these plays. I mean, the initial punch is very nice. And honestly, the Raiders need a left guard. Lester Cotton has only played left guard for one year. Uh, before that, he was primarily the right guard. Uh, but I love his attitude. I love his aggressiveness. Uh, what he brings and what he will help the Raiders with is something that we absolutely need. And this play right here, you see him going against Jeffrey Simmons. Um, or, you know, and, and you see what he's able to do, right? He's able to just hold his block right there against Big 94, right? The 19th overall pick in the uh, 2019 NFL draft. Again, Lester Cotton is a very good, solid guard. Uh, the reason why he was not drafted was because of his injury history. Um, and honestly, only about 10 guards even got drafted. Uh, primarily, those came after the third round. Um, you know, teams look for uh, guards that are going to get better uh, rather than draft guards that are good today who they think might get worse. And that's the thing with Lester Cotton. And I think a lot of teams think he's in his prime today and he's only going to get worse as he gets bigger. He's going to slow down as he gets older. Um, and I don't think that's the case. I think that's the wrong way to evaluate talent. Uh, last year, teams skipped out on drafting Orlando Brown Jr. for the same reason. They thought he was too big. He was too slow. And he was only going to get worse um, in the future. But what they're not understanding is there's something called awareness and there's something called IQ. And um, I'm not saying that I know how to um, you know, scout better than these, these NFL GMs because I don't. But I think sometimes they get way too lost in the potential rather than just get the guy that's going to come in and make an immediate impact today. Right. The guy that's going to be able to come in, help the team today is the guy that I would go out there and get. 
Now, do I personally think Lester Cotton is going to come in preseason week one uh, or prior to week one and just take the starting job? I don't. I think there's going to be a lot of adjustments and learning he's going to have to do. Uh, but overall, I really like his film. Um, it's a player that I've been wanting for you know the Raiders to go out and get. Uh, but I want to know what you guys think about him. Do you guys think he could be our starting left guard? Please comment below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time with the Game Film Breakdown.